days are never ending When the nights are feeling lonely There's a place that I can go Where the birds are free to roam In the sky, flying high Over fields of green and Where the stars inside the sky Where the last one shining bright Pushing through the storm tonight We'll be burning on and on Shining bright, pushing through the storm of night. We'll be burning on and on and on. Hello, Aries. This is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week, commencing the 1st of January until the 7th of January 2018. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the five of wands. You need to stand up for yourself and winning that conflict. There will be an end of conflict, tension and competition of some sort. It is impacting your ability to move forward with your goals, rather than being able to work together with others. You are coming up against it and are constantly being challenged on your point of view. The trouble is that everyone is trying to express their point of view and opinions but no one is listening, and so there is little progress. There is only conflict, and there is little or no value in the discussions that are occurring. Similarly, this card is representative of a group of people who are committed to an end but they cannot fully agree on how to implement this goal as each has their individual agenda as to how to bring this to fruition. Aim to turn this into constructive conflict by allowing each person to openly share their thoughts but then listen to other people's thoughts. Once everyone has been heard and all opinions have been considered, determine the best path forward. The Five of Wands encourages an enthusiastic approach to change. Change is coming, whether you like it or not. However your challenge will be in ensuring that everyone is on the same page and is focused on dealing with this change constructively and positively. Currently, there is scattered energy resulting from misdirected enthusiasm. Everyone has many ideas but no one is that to bring them into one consistent path forward. Your role may be in identifying a clear strategy and purpose that can be implemented by all involved. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the nine of wands. What do you want most right now is achieving success and overcoming challenges. You are so close to completing a particular project or task but at the last minute, you are faced with yet another challenge or setback. Know that you have the inner resources necessary to overcome any difficulty you encounter, even though it may seem impossible at the time. You are so close to finally achieving success, do not give up now. The Nine of Wands is a sign of hope and encouragement that if you stand firm and strong against your challenges, you will achieve your goal. The challenges before you now are only the last bit of darkness before the break of a wonderful dawn. The Nine of Wands is like the one last test or challenge before you can reach ultimate success. You feel as if you have come to the end of your fighting powers but you have the skill and determination in reserve. You are in a position of strength and by drawing upon all of your courage and abilities, you will prevail. Once the last obstacle is overcome, you are home free. The Nine of Wands encourages you to be resilient. You will continue to be opposed by hidden enemies and your interests will be questioned. Even in the face of such adversity, when you are feeling battled and bruised, you need to be patient and vigilant. Be assured that you will eventually prosper if you maintain your position. And remember, if you do not succeed at first, then try again. You may have experienced setbacks that now leave you feeling distrustful of others or even yourself. 
the turning point will come when you are able to leave the past behind you and to cultivate a more open mind about the future. While you have experienced losses in the past, it does not mean that you have to experience further losses in the future. Turn a new leaf and push on. Sometimes, the Nine of Wands encourages a risk-averse approach. You need to expect the worst and therefore take extra precautions to avoid any negative consequences to your plans. You need to be on guard and wary of any potential obstacles or opponents who may stand in your way. The third card for you is representing your fears. Your card is the Nine of Cups. You are afraid that your wishes are not materializing as expected. Your expectations may be unrealistic or you may not be actively pursuing your dreams, instead hoping that they will manifest with little input or action from you. On a more emotional level, the Nine of Cups typically indicates a wonderful feeling of satisfaction you get from knowing that everything has fallen into place and you have everything you could imagine. However, there is a sense that there is still something missing deep down and the inner fulfillment you have been seeking is still not present. There may be disappointments due to imperfections and mistakes, smugness, overindulgence, greed, superficial or materialistic values, slowness, gluttony, and excessive preoccupation with gratifying your own desires, oftentimes at the expense of the needs of others. Physically, the Nine of Cups can indicate ill fortune due to overindulgence in food, alcohol or drugs and the consequences that come with them. Be careful not to overdo the sensual pleasures and instead demonstrate some moderation in your indulgences. The Nine of Cups can suggest greed and a lack of concern for other people's needs in favor of your own. You may have an inadequate regard of how your behavior is impacting others and are often found gloating or boasting about your successes while others are suffering. Be considerate, and even if you have something to rave about, think about the impact that may have on others. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you? Your card is, the Ten of Pentacles. You finally reach a point of completion and accomplishment in your journey. This sense of accomplishment is likely to be as a result of an improved career path, more solid financial reserves, a stable home environment and a possible committed and long-term relationship. This is one of those cards that shows that everything will eventually come together in a wonderful way and you will feel highly successful and proud of everything you have achieved. You will also feel compelled to share this success with others to ensure that they are also well cared for. With the focus on the family, you may be more inclined to direct a lot of your energy into ensuring that your family has everything that they need, from finances, to security and a good home life. You want to ensure that your children and family will always have everything they need. This card shows how family, or even extended family, is incredibly important. It represents tradition, being a part of something bigger and realizing that the blood of your ancestors runs through your veins. It signifies that you are part of a long chain of individuals who subsequently creates a family, a tribe and a society. It provides structure where you can sit safely and comfortably, knowing that you are a part of history and heritage. The Ten of Pentacles is also a card of affluence and wealth. You are blessed with material abundance and are now free from any sort of money troubles. You feel financially secure and you are fortunate enough to have luck and success on your side to ensure your financial reserves are high. This card reflects permanence and creating a lasting foundation for future success. It is a card of commitment to a sustainable future, taking into consideration not just the short-term benefits of a particular venture but also the long-term benefits. It is about investing in the long-term and knowing that you need a consistent approach in order to achieve success that will last the test of time. 
the fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you. Your card is, the four of wands. There is a lack of harmony or a breakdown in communication in your family or home. There may be tension between family members or loved ones and you are finding yourself getting caught up in other people's concerns and relationship problems. This may leave you feeling uncertain about your own relationships and what you can and cannot depend on. You may also be going through a period of transition in your family and home life and feeling some tension as a result. Similarly, you may find your home situation becomes increasingly unstable. There may be an external threat to the peace and happiness you once had in your home. You may be placed into a temporary situation which appeases your immediate concerns but does not yet solve the longer term issues. Depending on your living arrangements, it may be no better to move home for the time being to allow things to settle. You are going through a period of transition where there is little stability and security. You may be experiencing multiple changes in your life, such as changing jobs, moving house and or leaving a relationship. While you know that this is an important transition that you need to make, it can be quite unsettling, leaving you feeling out of balance and uncertain about your future. In a relationship reading, the Four of Wands reflects someone who may not be looking for a particularly long-term relationship but is willing to invest in it for the time being. There is a lack of commitment, or even a fear of commitment, which is preventing them from wanting a long-term relationship. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the Queen of Swords. You will meet a female significant figure who is most likely from the air sign who is stern and composed, and without much feeling. If you are single, she might be someone that you're looking forward to be your partner. On the other hand, this card also represents the intellect's ability to judge and discern impartially, without the influence of emotion or sentimentality. She likes to know the how, what, why, where when and who of everything to help her make sense of her environment and to better understand others. It is not that she does not care about others but she connects to other people through an intellectual understanding rather than an emotional understanding. The Queen of Swords is a sign that you need to be independent in thought and in judgment, you must use your unbiased intelligence in order to make a judgment of a particular situation, drawing upon every piece of information and fact that you have gathered along the way. Empathy or compassion towards others may distract you from the task at hand, so it is important that you think with your head and not with your heart at this particular time. Do not let emotion get in the way. Rather, use fact and logic to make your decisions. The Queen of Swords also has an innate ability to tell it like it is. She is a quick thinker and highly perceptive, and as such, she can cut through the noise and confusion to get straight to the point. There is certainly no beating about the bush, or softening of her comments, opinions and thoughts. She is upfront and honest about her opinions, and expects the same from others. The best way to interact with the Queen of Swords, therefore, is to remain as impartial as possible, and to present your thoughts and opinions concisely and honestly. Last but not least, the Guidance card for you is the Death. This marker portends a time of transformation, a total change of attitude, the death of the old. Regardless of how death presents itself, it is a necessary aspect of all things. Always remember the phoenix that rises up out of its own ashes to soar in the wind, renewed, filled with life. Death is the winter of things, part of the cycle of life. When you received this marker, you are reminded that all things have their season. Take courage, for in surrendering to death, in time you will be blessed with extraordinary new life. Rejoice! For that which dies fertilizes and fortifies the new. Endings always point to fresh beginnings.
I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.